Hi everyone. Today in the garden we are going to battle some pests. I have been looking for information on how to deal with scale on my cactus. I went out here like this weekend inspect my cactus and I noticed that at the bottom it had um, white like scarring on it and I wasn't sure if it was because of the heat of the rock of the water of what and um, no this thing is a pest I've um, done a lot of research and I found some information I wasn't really too sure because I could only find um, examples that didn't quite look like what is happening here and here you're seeing my pride of madaria which is also infested with aphids and this happened last year and it almost decimated um, the little buds but i treated it with neem oil and it seemed to get better but this year they just came back and we've been having a very rainy um, march here in southern california so this is part of what happens in the garden when you have all that moisture and just um, spring is coming and uh, the pests are out and about. And look at this beautiful, beautiful um, blue monstrous Ceres cactus. It's um, a type of an apple cactus and it is gorgeous. It's so beautiful, but unfortunately, even though it has tons of flowers, of buds, it was infested by this darn scale and they just like decimate the 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 buds it's they won't open they become malformed and all those beautiful flowers that i could have enjoyed are gone uh, but good thing that i found this and um out at least so it doesn't uh invade the whole plant Apparently it's not such a big deal. If you catch it, you can go ahead and clean it off with just um, rubbing alcohol and um, a brush or a swab if it's a little cactus and um, that'll take care of it. Again, on Saturday, which is like a, a day and uh, two days ago, I went ahead and I doused this whole thing with um, neem oil and I've noticed that the scale, the bug looks, see, it looks even more like scarring because it's dry. Um, I can't really actively see that they're alive, but um, we will try both. I'm going to go ahead and um, try the alcohol and I'm going to douse it again with neem oil. And um, yeah, just give it the one, two punch approach. And um, here you're seeing the alcohol I, I will be using. And unfortunately, this bottle is almost empty. So I just have a tiny bit. And um, I'm going to try it out, though, and show you guys so that you could see how this thing, how easy this thing falls off once you um, apply it directly. This is just full strength. And I am using a long brush. Remember that these cacti have long, long um spines that will hurt you so be very careful and i am in jeopardy already because i have um, the bunny ears next to me and it has a lot of glockets that are vicious so i'm trying to be careful here and here you're seeing as i am just applying it it is coming off so easy and remember all these are bugs which is just uh Ah, I'm scratching as I'm speaking because it's just, um, it's gross just to think that all these are little insects that are infesting my cactus, my beautiful cactus. It doesn't seem to really mark or scar or hurt the cactus uh, once you take it off with the alcohol, but again, this is a tedious little job that you have to really get it in the in the crevices and in the little nooks and yeah this one I've been noticing noticing a lot of spider webs on it too and I don't know it might be because of uh, you know ecosystem they feed off of each other but um a brush is a great way to remove the spider webs also so yeah 
Yeah, I am um, so sad that I don't have enough alcohol so that I could just go ahead and clean it all up because it's doing a great job and you can see the beautiful green color uh, once you remove all those nasty little critters. But um, I'll do my best just to show you guys how it does come off and I have ordered more um, rubbing alcohol so that I can continue this uh, in the coming days but for now I'm going to go ahead and just clean what I can making sure to go above um, where these things are um, I'm going to go ahead and treat it with neem oil all the way to the top again just the whole thing so that they don't run up to the healthy tissue and trying to escape the alcohol if they do survive But yeah, pesky little critters, and this is um, the only cactus that I see that has been um, infested. And it didn't happen last year, so, but you know what, I had, do have another monstrous uh, cactus. And since I bought that one, it had scale, and I wasn't quite sure. And I did treat it with... Um, with neem oil and it seemed to get better and now it's it looks really good it's uh, healthy I don't see any signs but just in case I'm gonna go ahead and treat that one with neem oil again and uh, kind of beat these little critters from infesting that one and um, this is a beautiful beautiful um, cacti that I'm going to be um, probably cutting and propagating uh, the arms because it has grown so big and it's leaning kind of towards the path which is not the wisest place to put a cactus it has big spikes but it is just so gorgeous and I get to see it from the window inside which I hate to move it but I'm gonna move it someplace where it's a little safer and here you're seeing a close-up of the scale and see, as you can see, it looks like if it's dry, because it could be that the neem oil just went ahead and killed it, uh, but it's still attached to the cactus. Uh, it doesn't fall off. You need to physically get a brush and clean it off. Here you're seeing the backside of this cactus, and um, uh, it had tons of growth and beautiful flowers that were going to bloom and look they're just infested with that white stuff that uh, is part of what these bugs do and it just kind of stunts the growth of any of the flowers or any of the new growth but this is such a gorgeous cactus that blue color is just incredible here you're seeing um, the areas, the flesh, once it's been cleaned with the alcohol. I, obviously, I didn't get all the bugs because, again, I didn't have um, enough alcohol, but you get the idea. They do come off, and the cactus could look brand new. Here you're seeing the backside, and it is just, it's just encrusted with all these bugs which is so nasty and I feel so bad for this cactus but it happens and good thing that this is not something that is going to kill your cactus right away if you catch it you can um, go ahead and treat it here you're seeing me put more neem oil on there I have one of these sprayers that I bought at um, I don't know if it was um, yeah, one of the garden stores and it's just a regular sprayer I add I dilute I buy the neem oil in strength full strength and dilute it with water and it's just great and here you're seeing me I'm just I'm just going to town here and just dousing it completely and making sure to get into the crevices and uh, that it trickles down into those areas where I probably can't get it Here I am walking to the back and I am going to go ahead and treat the Pride of Medaria too because 
it again is infested with those damn aphids make sure to get all the little crowns because they just thrive on that new growth on the new uh, fleshy growth and that's where they congregate but make sure that you get underneath the plant too uh, spray underneath spray the stem spray the dirt around your plant because these things just nest wherever they can and they will hide and come back and reproduce um, I can see that it has tons of little larvae all around on the on the actual leaves and uh, uh, it's just a sad thing because these I have several videos that I've posted of these pride of Madarias, and I'm just amazed how they just grow out in the boonies in the nowhere and um, they're not infested I haven't seen any any of these plants infested like this one but then again this one is probably because of the moisture it's been raining a lot and um, it is probably uh, that's why this is happening but um, yeah out where they're unattended they thrive so go figure um, that's not gonna work for me if this one's gonna get infested every every season it's not gonna work for me unfortunately because again I want to have a garden that is low maintenance and uh, yeah I'm not liking that but we're back to this cactus here and I'm dousing it one more time just because um, I am going to try to see if um, after dousing it with the neem oil I can go ahead and remove the um, use the brush and remove the scale if it comes off as easy as with the alcohol but let's see nope you really you really need to yeah apply pressure and uh, yeah with the um, alcohol it come, they come off like so easy it's just so satisfying uh, but with this thing you really have to kind of get in there and scratch it off um, which is not something I'm gonna do this is a humongous area so I'll just go ahead and um, wait till I get more alcohol and um, and try this and um, since we are on curfew here in Southern California and we are their supplies are low I don't know if alcohol is going to be one of those supplies that is going to be scarce. So I don't know. I might use some some cheap cheap alcohol spirits um, that we have that in our bar, and just use that and see if that works. But um, I'm so glad I caught this because again, this is a beautiful, beautiful cactus. Oh, so gorgeous. All right. Well, here you're seeing um, how green it can be once you remove everything. Obviously, I didn't do a good job of taking every single um, pest off, but I will. And I wanted to share this with you guys. Hopefully, it helps you out if you have a cactus that is infested like this one. Don't let it ride. Go ahead and take care of it. And hopefully your cactus will be just fine. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And welcome to all the new subscribers. I wish you guys health and happiness and peace. Um, I will talk to you guys later.